Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try out one of the most trending Linux window managers of today. I will show you how you can install and test Hyperlint. Hyperlint stands out by fully embracing the Wayland display server protocol, positioning itself as a cutting edge and future oriented window manager. Through its integration into Wayland, Hyperland guarantees high security, seamless graphical performance and expanded compatibility with graphics hardware. Like many other window managers, Hyperland is extremely customizable. Here are some examples. Installing and testing Hyperland is something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And I managed to install Hyperland in the KVM QEMU based virtual machine. So I can test Hyperland without any risk and learn to configure the system. And you can do this too. But you can also follow the steps to run the installation on a real hardware. You can find all commands and the scripts that you will see here in the video in the description below. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's start. First, I want to prepare the virtual machine. To do this, I clone the Arch Linux base installation from the last video and name it Arch Linux Hyperlint and click on clone. Okay, now we have here our new virtual machine and I can start with the configuration. Because I have to enable the 3D acceleration for Hyperland. This is required to run this window manager. Also here in Display Spice, I have to enable OpenGL and the listen type is none. And now we are ready to launch the virtual machine. The system is booting up. Okay, we can log in. The first thing that I want to do is um, to install Yay to get access to the Arch user repository with AUR archlinux.org slash yay bin dot git. So I clone now the files and I can cd into the yay folder and I can start the installation with make pkg-si. My password and I confirm the installation. And now we are prepared to install Hyperland. I clear the terminal again and I install the packages with yay dash s Hyperland Dolphin my file manager Wofi the application starter Hyperpaper to set up a wallpaper and Allegrity is my terminal emulator. I confirm the installation. And the installation is done. I clear again the terminal. Normally you would start Hyperland now with Hyperland command. But in my case, I'm running Hyperland in a virtual machine. I need to set two environment variables. To do this, I create a script. I switch back into my home directory and create a script with wim start hyper.sh. And these are the two environment variables. The first one is needed to get mouse support in a virtual machine on Wayland. And the second parameter um, enables the 3D accelerated software rendering. And the last one is to start Hyperland. I save the script, clear the terminal, and now I need to give the script execution rights with change mode plus X, start hyper. And now we are ready to go. Let's give it a try. Dot slash start hyper. The system is booting up and here is Hyperland. Before we use the system now, 
I will leave the window manager again with super key M. Clear the terminal and open the configuration file of Hyperland with cd.config hyper. And in this folder, it's the Hyperland conf with wim Hyperland conf. Okay, the first one is that I that I comment the auto generated equals one out. This is the yellow bar on top that you have seen. And here I in the monitor section, I will enter my screen resolution. And I do not want to scale the screen. So with one, I can disable it. The keyboard layout is the in my case, when I scroll down, I see here first key bindings. The super key is defined here with super, um, but I don't want to start my terminal with super key Q. I want to start my terminal with super key return. And I don't want to use kitty. I want to use my alacrity. I kill an active application with super key Q. And I would say that's it for now. I save the configuration, clear again the terminal, and switch back to my home directory and start the script again. Yeah, and now I have the right screen resolution available and I can start my Alacrity with super key return. I also can start a second terminal with super key return. I can switch to the second workspace with super key two and I start again a terminal and I can switch back to workspace one with super key one. So you see already the very smooth, nice animations are part of Hyperland. Now I want to configure my alacrity. I want to have a transparent background here and I also want to increase the padding here. I cd into the config folder and create a folder alacrity. Now I can copy the default configuration of alacrity into that folder with cp user share doc alacrity example and then we have here the alacrity yml into the folder that I have just created, config alacrity. Let's cd into the folder, and here is our alacrity configuration. Let's open the configuration with Vim. And when I scroll down, I need to uncomment window and the padding value here and I change it to 10. And when I scroll down a bit further, then we have here the opacity and I change this to 0 0.8. And let's give it a try. I save it, close the terminal. And start again. And I have alacrity with padding and transparent background looks much nicer. Now we can set up a wallpaper. I want to download some wallpaper. I can do this from my GitLab, gitlab.com slash wallpaper.git. Okay, this is done. When I now open my home directory, I see new folder wallpaper. Perfect. And here are now some wallpapers available. Okay, let's use it. Um, as a background wallpaper. To do this, I need to create a new configuration file for Hyperpaper. I cd into the folder config hyper and create a new configuration file with wim hyperpaper.conf. And this is how the configuration file looks like. The first line is I want to preload the um, wallpaper into my memory and then I set the wallpaper on all of the screens. In my case, I only have one screen um, with setting the variable wallpaper. And don't forget to set the comma before the path 
to your wallpaper image. Now I save the file and go back into the hyperland config with vim hyperland.com because at the top of the configuration file, I can define all the applications that will be start at the launch of Hyperland with exec once. Waybar will come later and Firefox is not needed. So only at the moment Hyper Paper. This is the application that I want to start at the beginning. I can save this and I can exit Hyperland. I can clear the terminal and I can start Hyperland again. And now I have a wallpaper defined. So it looks super nice already. Okay, now I want to set a bar for Hyperland. I will use Waybar. First of all, I have to install it with yay dash s waybar. And here we are. Waybar is installed. I need to configure the waybar. To do this, I create again a folder in the config folder with mkdir waybar. And here is now the waybar folder visible. And next, I want to copy the default waybar configuration from slash etc xdg waybar config into the new folder. And when I now cd into waybar, you will see that there is a config file available. And I open the config file with win config. And here are some configuration needed. First of all, I define that the waybar will appear on the top of the layer. And the modules left is the, I want to enable a workspace indicator. I replace Sway with WLR and the rest should be fine for now. Module center are not needed and the rest I will keep the standard here. Okay, I can save and close the file. I clear the terminal. We need an additional installation because the waybar includes icons, font awesome items. That's why we need to install the true type font of font awesome with yay s true type font awesome. Now we can test it. Let's start the waybar with entering waybar. And here is the waybar up and running with icons and the workspace indicator. So when I switch to workspace two, then I have the workspace two visible and I can switch back to workspace one and workspace two. Okay, seems to work. Let's stop waybar because I want to configure Hyperland to start waybar with the launch. And to do this, I open again the Hyperland config and add waybar to the exec once. Waybar and the ampersand. Let's close it. Stop hyperland and start hyperland again with our script and here we are a wallpaper available and the waybar as well yeah it looks very nice i want to change two more key bindings i define the key bindings of hyperland in the hyperland configuration and when i scroll down you see here the existing keyboard bindings um, because I want to show you Wofi the application launcher and I use in my Qtile installation 
the key command super key, control, and return. And here is Wofi, and I can start several applications directly with that application starter. I close Wofi, and now I want to change the key binding for Dolphin as well. I don't want to have E, I want to have F. Super key F for file manager. Let's see if it's working. Super key F. Yeah, and here is my file manager. Here is Dolphin. And you can also see here in the folder all my wallpaper. And I can close it again with super key Q. I will definitely give Hyperland a try. And this is also for you, a good starting point for your own experience with Hyperland. And that's it for today. Hyperland installed in a virtual machine. I'm very happy with the result and I hope you will like it too. Then see you next time.